I am greatly honored at this election as an honorary fellow to the Association for Tropical Biology and Conservation. After all, I have been engaged in tropical biology and conservation all my life. I was born at the latitude of 18 degrees north near these hills you see in the background, just to the east of the crest line of the Western Ghats. And most of my working life I spent at 13 degrees north on the high point of Deccan Plateau, that is Bengaluru, again just to the east of the Western Ghats. And it is these hills which have engaged my attention most of my working life. We have a great epic called Raghumamsha by the poet Kalidasa, <coughs> composed some 2000 years ago, uh, called Raghumamsha. In this epic, Kalidasa talks of the journey of King Raghu across the four corners of the country. And of course, Raghu has to traverse the in entire length of this hill chain of Western Ghats, which begin near the southern trip of peninsula and run parallel to the west coast all the way to rivers Tapi and Narmada. I am not sure how Kalidasa visualized uh, how the Western Ghats would have looked from the satellite, but uh, today if you look at them, his simile has, is uncannily uh, correct. He likens the Western Ghats to a beautiful young maiden with her head near the southern tip of Indian Peninsula and her feet uh, near uh, Tapi River. The two high-rising hills of Western Ghats, the Animalais and Nilgiris, constitute her two breasts. I have been, as I said, working most of my life in these uh, regions. I began 40 years ago my field ecological research on the Western Ghats with a study of the sacred groves of Maharashtra. This northern part of the Western Ghats is highly degraded and the nicest examples of the original vegetation are to be seen amongst the sacred groves of this part of the country. I then shifted to Bengaluru where I worked initially on promoting Nilgiris as the first biosphere reserve of the country and then did a number of studies with the forest-based industry, paper, plywood industry, with the farmers and herders on issues of forest management, of nature conservation in the Western Ghats. Recently, I have come back to Pune and had an opportunity to revisit the sacred groves which I had studied 40 years ago. I was delighted to find that most of them are still intact in spite of many changes in cultural traditions, religious beliefs of the people that these lovely patches of forest are still being treasured and protected by people. And on top of that, I was delighted to find that now there is a large population of peacocks on the hill, this which you see in the background, a population that did not exist 40 years ago. The city of Pune has grown, now grown around these hills and it is the protection by the citizens of Pune uh, with again their love for and reverence for the peacocks which has brought them back. So although uh, I certainly am very conscious of the fragility of these ecosystems and the damage being done to them, I have abiding faith that uh, we will uh, turn the tide around and restore these ecosystems. After all, uh, Slobodkin, when he asked the question, are there any prudent animals, came up with the answers that humans are the only prudent animal. And we are the only animal capable of thoughtfully 
conserving, thoughtfully restore. So I believe that uh, our Association for Tropical Biology and Conservation has many challenges but many hopes before us. Once again, may I thank you for this important honor done to me. Thank you and my apologies for not being personally with you.